Hi folks, Paul here once again. Welcome back. Time for an update on my range estimator project. Several years ago now I built this battery state of charge project which fits inside the top eyebrow dash and it calculates an estimate of range based on a fairly simple formula. And then I started working on this one which is also inside the dash, um, which replaces the decimeter. And this has the added benefit that it has a chart which shows your progress over time, which turns out to be quite useful if you're going on long drives with an old leaf like mine is. Mine's a 2011. So in the year or so that I last talked about this, I have fiddled with the code quite a lot and tried to refine it to the point where it's a nice little project that you can make yourself. I'm not quite there, but uh, it's been so long that I figured I should probably give you a, an update on how things are going. So let me first of all show you how it works. Uh, it's got a range estimate which is based on a reading of the state of charge of the battery. It also factors in the state of health of the battery. So if you put this into a newer leaf, like a 2014, it should also make sense. And it also factors in the temperature of the battery. So if it's very cold or very hot, that impacts the capacity of the battery and therefore the range. Then it's got this chart, which I'll, I'll demonstrate in a bit. And it's got a journey odometer. So this automatically resets every time you charge the car and it will run and count up until you recharge the car. Uh, so I'll just show you how this works. I'll drive up the road for 15 k's and uh, give you a, a demonstration. Okay so I've just driven 19.9 kilometers up the valley and you can see from the yellow line that I've been driving slightly harder than my initial dash line estimate. So the dash line represents what, how far I would get um, and what I would be doing if I was exactly on my prediction. And because I've been dri driving up the valley, I've been gaining elevation, so I've been using a little bit more energy than if I'd been driving on the flat. So that's what it looks like there. And then if I turn the car off, and then back on again. Um, the new innovation is that it retains all that data and plots it as a light orange um, and then it'll start plotting the new data from the end of that. So I get a nice um, full picture of the consumption and how, how my consumption is going uh, over the life of this journey. So let's carry on. And here we are back home. I've driven almost 40 kilometers and you'll see I've got this nice yellow from the last drive, orange from the previous drive up the valley and I'm almost back on my, my dashed line. So the net effect of driving up and down the valley is my range is about what I was expecting when I started the journey. Um, which kind of makes sense. The other feature that I've got on here that you can't see is if the temperature is below 10 degrees then it will show it on here and if the temperature goes above 35 degrees of the battery uh, it will show it here. If the battery is a reasonable temperature it doesn't bother telling you about it. It's just a waste of space. Uh, so it's nice and simple. I will do a second video talking about the actual hardware and how you can make one yourself. But it is working pretty well. There's still a few bugs that really annoy me and I wish I could have fixed them before now but it's getting a long time since my last update. So you'll notice the odometer of the journey here is 38 whereas the trip meter in the car says 39.9 and that's because of the underlying data that I'm reading for this odometer value is stored in miles not kilometers so this only actually updates every 1.6 kilometers um, the other thing is 
If you install this on a car with a really good battery, like a 12 bar, say 85% state of health battery, then the scale is not right. At the moment, the scale is hard coded, and at some point, I need to have that auto range depending on the state of health of your battery. But I thought I'd get this out to you now because uh, it's been so long. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, when you um, turn the car on during the charging session, it will plot the charge over time, um, which means that if you're sitting at a fast charger with the car on, you can watch the, the rate of charge as it slows down towards the end of the charge, which is a nice, nice feature. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.